Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely from Twin Flame Body. I'm a Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. And this is a wonderful thing that I love to present to you of a beautiful couple and them telling their own story and with some of my help to be able to come together and they share their beautiful love story that's been going on for a couple of years and is all coming together so beautifully. They let me use some photos and I want them to tell you in their own way. So sit tight and just watch a beautiful love story be told a success. And I'm very humbled that they have included me in updates and how it is going for them. So please watch and let me know if maybe I can help you too. Hi, it's Patricia, and I'm here with Anthony and Demolina, and uh, they recently celebrated their one-year anniversary, and uh, maybe you guys could talk a little bit about how you met. Sure. Um, so we met um, six years ago um, in Virginia. We were at a place called Rebirthing International. And um, we were practicing a um, rebirthing practice. Rebirthing practice. Yeah. It's a, a breathing technique essentially for relaxation. And um, essentially, I was there to learn more about it. And I was doing some teaching there. And uh, Devalina. So I uh, got to know about rebirthing from India. And um, it interested me, so I planned my travel and I went to Virginia and that's how I met him. Mm -hmm. And he was my teacher. <laughs> he was my breathwork teacher and um, I think in the very first uh, healing session that we had, things started like unfolding mm -hmm. in a very deep way. Um, so, I think, yes, at, at the energy level, he was able to bring up some very deep stuff about me and I was just blown away by that. And that's how our interaction began. And then I think within a week or so, we became very good friends and it felt like we knew each other for a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. We felt that that level of familiarity and um, you, know, you just could be yourself is something I've never felt before. And I think that was the seed to, you know, the journey that we have had from then till now. I, I think that, you know, when we were, when we were there, it was also kind of magical in a way um, yes. because our, you know, we, we both felt that things that were going on at, at the place that we were at uh, were not going very well. And we decided to leave, um, you know, together, um, earlier than expected 
and you know it was the beginning of her vacation and we decided to you know travel together and really um just kind of get to know each other and you know, we ended up going back to my hometown and spending uh, about two months together i yeah, believe yeah, yeah. Almost two months together. and um after that we you know kept the relationship up you know over, over skype, skype for I don't think we saw each other for what, like two years? Two years. And two and then, a half years. Yeah, two and a half years. It was yeah. a long time. It was a yeah. long time. And, and there <laughs> was a lot in one distance. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And there was a lot going on back home after I came back to India. A lot of challenges that I had to go through, you know, to be able to stand up for myself and, you know, acknowledge the relationship that we've had. Um, yes. Yeah, and I feel like, you know, us being together, there were, you know, there were other people involved in this a little bit. And it's like, they all in their own way were like a catalyst um, for, for us to be together. And you know, I mean, some of it were, they, they were not helpful. I mean, they, they were helpful for us to be together, but they were not very nice about it essentially. But it's, it was, uh, it was, it was like the universe was kind of unfolding for us. Um, and I think the best part about our relationship was as if the trust, the faith was yeah. so easy, right. you know, very easy. Uh, there have been times when we would have a lot of arguments over Skype, you know, just general fights. And I would think to myself, oh, probably it's time that he's just going to let me go or I'm going to let him go. But that never happened. That never happened. Like yeah. it was like uh, I would say, things were never really favorable, and I would often wonder: Is this going to be possible? Is this really going to be possible that I would have a relationship with him and eventually get married down the line? Mm -hmm. Like my family agreeing to accept him and his family agreeing to accept me. That was. I felt there could be challenges because we come from two different countries, totally different cultures, yet there were so many common things about us. I think that was working in favor of us and everything, you know, about our wedding happened so smooth. That was really nice. Yeah. And I, and I'm very happy how my family has been able to accept him and how easy it has been for him to gel with, all my family members and how his family accepts me. Yeah, yeah and even, beautiful. The, even the way that the wedding came about was was pretty interesting too because yeah. we were originally were planning on doing uh, the fiance visa so that she could come here and we would get married here. Like um, you mean in the U.S.? Yeah, in the in the U.S. and um, yeah. He was coming to see me in December, right? Mm -hmm. 2017 no 2018 2018 and so it was just going to be like a, a regular visit yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, we never knew that we were going to get married it just got planned in a very short amount of time mm -hmm. yeah and I think meanwhile uh, I think the last year the, the year prior I was traveling to the US to see him and um, um, I was basically sent back home uh, because one of my tickets were, air tickets were not in place. I was sent back home and, and I wasn't able to, you know, go see him. And it wasn't really possible for us to go fly to another country because of a bunch of constraints. So, I mean, the only option that was open was for him to fly out to India and see me. Yeah, and this has been my this is my fourth trip to India now, and in, in two years. Um, wow! Yeah, it's it's been. I mean, I love coming here, but it's a really long flight. <laughs> <laughs> because where your heart is. Yeah, and, and it makes it easier. You know, it it makes it easier. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's so hard. But but it's it's. So it's really I would cool. I would say that. Uh, the relationship since 2014 up until now, um, we get, we talk to each other like two times a day, every single day. Uh, 
and it feels very real like very very real it's never felt that i mean yes we miss each other like physically being next to each other is what we miss but our relationship has been so strong like when we fight it feels like we are you know right next to each other and fighting or when we express our emotions it feels as real as being together yeah so i think that way we we grown together as a very strong couple and and i think there were so many challenges you know financial problems and uh, me about to lose my apartment here in bangalore so many things happened but we stayed strong and i think and, and i think uh, we we are a great team together mm-hmm. so yeah oh absolutely yeah i mean I we're when you focus on your heart yeah and i think above all uh, we know who we are we know that we are twin flames but we are not very high on that 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 term twin flames we keep that aside and we both face life in a very practical way it's not that if we are twin flames everything is just going to happen for us but we just have to be there and allow and you know life creates a way yeah i so, i think i think that we definitely have like the universe on our side when it comes to you know being together and things like that i think that a lot of things have like really come together for us and it's been really challenging but like like yeah. she was saying it, it's you know it, it's been relatively easy you know it, it's just the, the the relationship part has been like really easy the, the other stuff is the challenging stuff it's like the real world stuff is the challenging yeah. part everything around you that tries to intrude right yeah and, and there are also uh, i would also like to add over here that it's not that he does not trigger me he triggers me a lot okay <laughs> um and at this stage of my life being into you know the world of healing for quite some time like i try not to blame him for my experiences and take ownership of what i'm experiencing through him i try that as much as possible yeah i'm kind of yeah. annoying i get it <laughs> but cute annoying right exactly yeah, yeah. She- Well, I think what's impressed me the most is is it's it's so it's like almost beautifully simple. You just you're in love and you want to be together. And yeah. love is what's carrying the day and dissolving the things and you know helping sort out the outer world so that the path you know has um you know it's like taking that machete for you to clear you know something while you pause sometimes. Mhm. Yeah. hurls for sure but um yeah and i also think smooth. that uh, fears and doubts they keep coming up they keep coming up and all we do is just okay let's face it yeah, yeah. so mm-hmm. i think we have had a good share of experiencing all all our fears you know coming out mm-hmm. um and maybe that's the way ahead so and what has kept us strong is our love for each other and it has only grown stronger and deeper yeah i mean i i feel like the relationship has become a lot more mature you know in the beginning it was it was very emotional and now that we've like overcome some things and you know i think that it's it's been a really positive thing for us where i don't know it just it just feels just so natural and it, it always kind of did but now it's like it just it just means so much it's i don't know it's it's deeper. it's really good. yeah it's really, it's it's very it's a lot deeper than it used to be and you know it's it's becoming just more enjoyable by the day i mean even with the arguments you know and they you know they do happen and but for the most part it's like it's easy to deal with it now yeah and it's like we yeah. i mean we both know that this is not something we need to take seriously and you know um 
run basically operate from our egos that's what we never do i mean yeah. even if you do that's very short lived because i think it knocks some sense back into our way of thinking and that is where we i think we both are quite mature this way yeah and you you find things sort of dissolve away a lot more rapidly yes mm -hmm. yes yeah. and i would say uh, <laughs> i would say i definitely uh, see a huge change in the way my relationship was in the initial times mm -hmm. and <laughs> i would say i would doubt him i felt that it was all me into this and mm -hmm. you know it was all me into this and probably he is just okay fine i have a girlfriend from from some part of the world he was very cool about everything and it took me a while to understand that he is really serious about this relationship oh yes he was very in love still is you both are yes i i totally agree that i like it's been our first wedding anniversary and he's been here for a week and i i can sense a whole lot of change into like from being that lover to becoming the married man and yet being the same person yeah yeah and you know it's like i i knew that like that the connection was like very real like right from the start um you know for a lot of reasons but it's like as as time went by it you know it's like i knew that like the only thing that could stop us was was us really just if we just didn't have like the the patience or you know the discipline to just you know make sure that we're we're talking to each other make sure that we're we're doing these things and and i kind of felt like maybe we had to make sure that those things happened and after all this time it's like it just happened so naturally it just happened so easily uh, we always you know find time to talk to each other um you know it's not always at the best hours given our time difference but yeah <laughs> especially when it is like 9:30 here and 11 o'clock there yeah maintaining a good sleep schedule's been tough <laughs> yeah <laughs> and uh, and so i so what i feel about our relationship what makes me very proud of our relationship is that we are like a team we have it's it's very natural how we have a set of goals and that those goals are very common it's not something we've adjusted to each other it's something that just falls in place mm -hmm. and we feel like we have a life that we so much want to create together and it just it's as if you know our goals our dreams are just the same yeah like yeah like right from the start it was like that was like really apparent that i mean we we both kind of wanted the same thing like you know we we both had the like the same idea of you know how we want to like finish our lives essentially where we want to be what we want to be doing you know yeah and yeah you know, I think that we're both very supportive of each other of how to how to get to those oh, he's places. Oh, he's very supportive of me. I mean, he's been such a huge support, especially in challenging times. Uh, I am very grateful. Yes. Well, you two love each other. It's apparent. You're beaming. Your rings are so shiny. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> yeah. You can see. Yes. Beautiful. Well, it's always a pleasure to talk to both of you and thanks so much for sharing and taking some time with me to, you know, share and just update and um let me know how, you know, how you were doing and getting through and I feel very honored to know both of you. Very privileged to um, you know, just be around you and um, look forward to, you know, seeing you guys live and in person at some point. So thanks so much and uh, enjoy, just keep enjoying each other. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you so much for being our mentor in the initial times of our relationship. Thank you so much for giving me the support to not give up 
and just stand by him when I most needed the support. Oh, you're so yeah, welcome. Thank you. Yeah, and the, and the work you do is, you know, as much it's as she says, I don't, I don't watch it. Like I do watch it. Mm, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> It but, actually doesn't yeah. work that way where you can send my videos to everyone. <laughs> if at least one, this is a beautiful part. Like sometimes I'm usually just, it's one person. Yeah. I, I, I really like the work that you do and it's, uh, it's, been a, it's been really helpful. So thank you very much. Oh, well, thank you too. And have a wonderful rest of your time together. Things will definitely keep getting smoother and smoother. So thanks a lot and uh, have fun, enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it inspired you to hear that people go through things and sometimes with just some work here and there, body work, working with the subtle bodies, huge things can actually take place and unfold to get you into your new life and the love you deserve. Be well, and I will see you.